Let's bring you the latest on the developing story out of Atlanta, Georgia. Police still investigating a possible hate crime. Eight people were shot and killed yesterday at three separate spas. Multiple reports cite police as saying six of the victims were women of Asian descent. These attacks all happened within about an hour of each other. The suspected shooter is a 21-year-old man. He has been arrested and is this morning in police custody. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe, is looking at the story for us. And Lindsay, with the latest details, good morning. Yeah, this all started around 5 p.m. outside of Atlanta in Cherokee County, which is about 60 kilometers away. Police were called to a robbery in progress, and when they arrived, they found that four people were killed. Uh, they were three women and one man. And about an hour later in Atlanta, there was a call at another salon, and police responded to the Gold Beauty Spa in Atlanta. There they found and three women were shot while they were responding to that call across the street. They discovered another woman had been shot. Of the people who were killed, six were women of Asian descent. These all happened at beauty salon day spas. Here is what one of the women who works in the area, someone who works at a club, had to say about the shooting heard numerous gunshots coming from across the street. I won't say any names, but they're really nice girls. Um, they just do great massages. They do great massages over here, so it's just unfortunate. A couple of hours after the shooting, Heather, police arrested Robert Aaron Long in connection with the shooting. He is 21 years old, he is white, and he's from Woodstock, Georgia. Police say they are working to confirm with certainty that these shootings are indeed related. And are they saying anything to this point about motive here, Lindsay? They certainly aren't speculating. The police have said that they're looking into all different scenarios. Here is Captain Jay Baker with the Cherokee Sheriff's Office. Nothing's going to be ruled out. We're conducting a homicide, a multiple homicide investigation. So wherever the evidence leads us, that's where the investigators will go. Now, that evidence does show, though, that we are talking about six women of Asian descent. Uh, these businesses had people of Asian descent working there. And the group Stop AAPI Hate, which is a group that was formed as a result of anti-Asian racism in the result of the coronavirus pandemic, has put out a, a statement about these killings. Here's what they say. They say these reported shootings of Asian American women on Tuesday in Atlanta is an unspeakable tragedy for the families of victims first and foremost, but also for the AAPI community, which has been reeling from high levels of racial discrimination. It goes on to say that few details have been released. It's unclear whether or not this was motivated by hate, but going on to say that there is a great deal of fear and pain in the Asian American community that must be addressed. That same group Heather just recently put out a report saying that in the last year, uh, during this coronavirus pandemic, they had documented more than 3,700 incidents of racism targeted at the Asian and Pacific Islander community here in the United States. And this, this tragedy, this shooting, is having an effect in other cities in the United States. Police in both New York and Seattle have upped their presence their patrols in Asian American communities. Lindsay, thank you so much. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe.